Hello, my name is Catherine and I'm from Gingerbread Girl Designs. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to make a tassel. We're going to do a simple tassel today, like the ones that are on these items here. I've got two ornaments and two scissor fobs. I really like to decorate my needlework items with tassels. I think it makes them look a little more finished, a little more polished, and it gives them a little more visual weight. The nice thing about making your own tassels for your needlework items is that you can make them match your pieces exactly. You can use threads that you've used in the design and then it will coordinate perfectly. In order to make our tassel, we're going to need to collect a few things. You'll need a design uh, that you want your tassel to decorate and you'll need some of the threads that you used in your design. I used some of this white DMC pearl cotton and some of this Wonderfill Spaghetti 12 weight thread and Wildflowers by Caron in this design. And I'll choose some of these threads to make my tassel with. Then you'll also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle that you can thread these threads into and a piece of cardboard. Before you cut your cardboard, you want to decide how long your tassel, you want your tassel to be. So for a tassel that's about the same as this one, I've cut this piece of cardboard. It's about three inches long. Before we start making the tassel, we're just going to talk about the anatomy of a tassel. So if you take a look at a tassel, you can sort of picture that it looks a bit like a person. You've got the head of the tassel here, the neck here, and this is the body of the tassel. Up at the top, you've got the tie of the tassel. And I've tied this one with some twisted cord and you can learn how to make twisted cord in another one of my videos. But you can also just tie your tassel with some of the thread that you use to make the tassel. So if you can see right in there, this tassel at the top is tied with the same pearl cotton that's used to make the body of the tassel. And that's what we're going to do for this tassel. So I'm going to cut a piece of this pearl cotton and about a foot is good and we're gonna set that aside. And then I'm going to choose a thread for the neck of the tassel. And I think that I would like to use some of this Wildflowers. It's a really nice variegated thread and it will make a really nice looking neck. So I'm just going to pull out one of these from the bundle and we're going to use that to make the neck of the tassel. And we'll just set that aside. Okay, so the body of the tassel I'm going to make with um, number eight pearl cotton. And I really like this for making tassels. I like the size of it and I like that it's a pretty economical choice for making the tassel, but you can make a tassel with any thread that you have. It can be a really textured thread, it can be a thick thread, a thin thread, you can play around with different textures and see what you like for making your tassels. But for now, I'm just going to make mine with this number eight pearl cotton. So you take your piece of cardboard and you wanna make sure that um, the channel of the cardboard is at the top and the bottom. And you're gonna need this to be corrugated cardboard so that you have that channel at the top and the bottom. And that is functional, so you'll see what we do with that later. So now you're just going to wrap around your cardboard until you've got a tassel that looks as thick as you want it to be. And another nice thing about making your own tassels is you can make them how you like them. They can be um, short and fat, they can be long and skinny, they can be anything in between. 
it's completely up to you. So we'll just keep winding this until it's as full as we want it to be. And you'll see that the pearl cotton kind of jumps around. Um, you may find it a little bit easier if you put the pearl cotton in a little bowl and then it doesn't um, run away from you like it just did. It's like it was listening to me. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to do a little bit more here. And then we'll take our scissors and we will cut that off. And then we'll take the one foot of pearl cotton that we cut before and thread that into the tapestry needle that we have on hand. And we're gonna slide it under the wraps of thread. And that's where this channel comes in really handy because then you're sure that you get under all the wraps. It's pretty annoying if you don't. And then you can remove the needle. And make it about even and you can tie this really tightly before you cut it or you can cut it first or you can just slide it off the cardboard and I like to slide it off the cardboard because then I, I feel like I can get the, the knot at the top tighter but try and keep the wraps all together so now I'm going to tie this knot at the top. And you want to do a double knot so that it's nice and secure. Okay. Now I'm going to thread the wildflowers into my needle. There we go. Okay. And you lay the wildflowers across the body so that there's going to be some sticking up through the top. And you start winding the neck where you want the neck to be and you want to wind it really tight as tight as you can without breaking the thread and you want to wind up from the bottom over the thread that's lying across this thread that's lying across here this one here okay so you want to go over that and you want to hold it in place otherwise you pull it. So I like to wrap really really tightly and also have my wraps sit side by side not overlapping and this makes it look really tidy and if you see because I use the wildflowers which is a variegated thread I'm getting a color change here I really like to play with different colors when I make the tassels, different textures even, um, with canvas work ornaments. Um, there's a lot of different threads you can use for the neck. Very Velvet is gorgeous. Um, metallics look really nice. And the variegateds are also really pretty. So your neck can be a very narrow neck like this one is now, but I like mine to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to keep wrapping for a little while. I 
also like to, to watch those color changes come up, so it's really tempting to just keep wrapping, but I don't want the head to get too small, so I'm going to finish it up pretty soon. I'll just get one more wrap in that pretty aqua color. Okay, so you can hold the neck really tightly and then because you threaded the needle onto this thread, you can use the needle and run it right under the wraps down to the bottom. And it's okay if it doesn't come out right. Um, by the, by the wraps. It can come out right in the middle of the tassel as well. Pull that tight and that is really quite sturdy. Then you'll take your scissors and snip that off as close as you can, but you don't want to snip the white threads, right? And you can remove this. That got knotted somehow, so we're going to cut that off. And then I'm just going to thread this first end into the needle. And we'll go over one or two of the wraps at the top and then down into the tassel. And the reason that you go over one or two at the top is so that you're not pulling it right back out. Um, it gets caught up there and then it's really nice and secure. And we'll cut that off. And then we'll take the scissors and cut the loops. Well, if you like the looped look, you can actually leave it like that, right? That actually looks kind of cool, but I'm going to cut this one. So we'll just take the scissors and cut straight across. So it's really nice to have a nice sharp pair of scissors. All right, and I like to comb through and make sure that I got all the loops and I didn't. So there's some there and there's some there. And it usually ends up that it's not exactly even at the bottom. So I like to comb it out a little bit and get it between my fingers like this and then give it like a little haircut. So well, I like to cut it in a bit of a curve when it's spread out like this so that it looks pretty even. And then I'll flatten it out the other way. Do the same thing. The neck takes a little bit of practice. So the more tassels you make, the better they will look. There, I think that looks pretty good, don't you? So there's a tassel that perfectly coordinates with our piece of needlework here, which I'm going to make into a scissor fob and attach to a pair of pretty scissors. Now, if I wanted, I could also use beads from in the design and decorate the tassel as well. You could have some dangling down. You could wrap the tassel with rows of beads. There are lots of different things that you could do. You could add a charm. You can um, use more than two different threads. You can do all kinds of things. So it's just up to your imagination, but you can have a beautiful matched tassel to any piece of needlework. So. Uh, give it a try and let me know how it goes.